Welcome to the Char Jr. Ryuki channel, where gaming and nachos are law. So sit back, relax, and let's dip in. Hello everybody and welcome to Life is Strange True Colors. Now, there is copyrighted music in this game, just like all the others, and I made the choice to shut that off, which is why you hear now, through the guitar playing, you hear 99 Lives music playing. I'll continue to use them because I like their music. Anyone who's been watching this channel knows that I like their music because I continue to use it. Um, so that's what we'll be going with, especially in the scenes where there is copyright music. It's just going to keep playing. So, I've never played Before the Storm in that continuation of that, but like Chloe, Chloe's story. I never played that. I never played the other adaptions of it. Uh, of the two boys, with one of them having superpowers, of telekinesis, I never played that one either, and I don't plan to, because I've already played Life is Strange, the very first one, the original one, the one that I liked, and I know enough of Chloe's story and how things ended up happening, that it's pretty easy to figure out, I really don't need to play Before the Storm. And when I heard about this one with a different ability, a different power called uh, Empathy, I was really interested in this one and really wanted to try it out. So, without further ado, let's get into this story. Better choose wisely. So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex. You know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. So we got a girl who's afraid of her, uh, of her uh, empathy abilities. She's afraid of using them. Which I can understand that. Side A, Chapter 1. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. Just like all these games, 
They all look beautiful. Besides that, in the background with the bushes and everything, it kind of looks a little blurry. But anything you see up close, it looks it looks rather good. Look at that. I don't want to leave. I want to look at the elk, call the deer, you know. It looks so damn good. All right, we can Alex. we can leave now. <laughs> Spend five minutes just looking at. It. Right. Holy shit. That's really him. Saying that she really forgot what her brother looks like? Oh. What's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? No, no, no. They're brother and sister. It's called the hug. I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> Crushing my ribs still part of the protocol. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. <sighs> She's all grown up. And I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. I don't know why I said that. Me neither. <laughs> but I love the enthusiasm. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above the bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alice just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Laith, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to Haven. Silver Dragon. Is it, uh... Brown Bear Diner? It's nice. Come on. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find a prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for Angry Girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? 
lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard, or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh, yeah? What would you do? Uh, honesty is the key. I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. Called it. Wow. You two are already wonder twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> Alex, help me out real quick. Oh, great. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? Well, uh, let's find out what he did first. What, uh, exactly are you apologizing for? This time around? Maybe the toilet seat? <laughs> uh... <laughs> well, sunflowers... If uh, Sunflowers are our favorite. This would probably be a much better choice if I was streaming this. But, uh, that's a topic for another video. Um... Blind chance hit? Da -da 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 -da. Looking away from the camera. Just... I'm doing this, guys. I'm doing this. Oh, Go with the I, hit, I hit a button. If you're trying to say sorry... That I am. And that I will. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. Yeah, might as well. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. Yeah. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. Yeah. Oh, no category for, for people a strange who are into brother that thing. you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. This gnome has been places. Come on, we gotta put sunglasses on that gnome. There we go. Perfect. There we go, it fits. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Gnome Bell Peace Prize. Oh god, please stop. <laughs> Loving this game no already. <laughs> uh, that's definitely that would be definitely something that this guy would do. Very the much tiny house so. Movement yes. is really taking off. I hope Charlotte likes the lilies. Yeah. It's it's more of a guess at this point, but if he is really trying to say sorry, then uh, if he really is trying to say sorry, he should be focusing on that. If he really is trying to say sorry, he should be focusing on that. But. Sometimes I really shouldn't be saying anything because in my dating experience I never had a relationship really lasted that long to where I would be at this in this guy's position so more of the obvious of what I would probably do I'd probably just buy both 
I'd probably start out with the the, the sorry well, flowers. Around. We can head out. Eh. I'd probably buy both of them. Here's the here's the here's your fa or either you know start like this. Start out with the little apology and then hand to her best flowers or favorite flowers, something like that. In other words, just doing take killing a bird with two, a couple of birds with two stones or one or one stone. You, some of you might get what I'm trying to point out here, but others be like, "Yeah, the guy's still screwed." Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Aw, I wonder who they are. Oh, we got the KFC guy. Cute, here. right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. What if I don't get in? Shit. What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. It's not bad. Not bad. First look at that kind of mechanic. It's really not that bad. So... How to Kill Everything You Touch. A flower book by Alex Chen. <laughs> I don't think I really need to read all that, do I? Who knows? But let's... Ready. Let's go. Let's get a nerve on. Thanks. See you soon, Ray. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? Uh, about three years now, I think. Not bad. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. These are really nice. Thanks. I hand wove every wreath myself. Well, here we are. What did you Local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. Stop the presses. Hey, don't hate. How many bees do you have? Uh, last time I checked, like zero bees. Step one, patch things up with Charlotte. And step two, Alex and Charlotte become best friends and everyone's happy forever. Gabe's pretty nervous about making sure I'll like it here. It's sweet. Gabe Chen, flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. Wish him luck. Three, two, one, fail. It's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh. Hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. Uh, let's see, Vanishing my kind of power, or I prefer the Fire Ring. Uh, yeah, let's... I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid still do sometimes to be honest you can get away with anything if you're invisible and no one can stop you if you like comics i can show you the one i'm making i'd love to see it oh wait kid You can keep it if you want. 
I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. Look this is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man, I shouldn't have told you that. I know we just met, but be careful out there, okay? You don't need to worry, really. You're still a kid. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. What will we find here? This place reminds me of the shop Cabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way. Unicorn sandwich and zombie parade. Um, yeah, let's go. Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now, which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait. Are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since... forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? I've seen some cool things so far. Like, this record store is amazing. I didn't expect anything like this here. Yep. It's our cultural landmark for sure. Gotta so love people appreciating the, the classics. Closed, but they opened it just for you? Oh, Bluebird. You mm. must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah. Well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Depressing. 
Uh, nerdy, different. Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. That's why well, he'd be a little bit nervous about closed. what he's doing. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. Could be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. Damn. I know I saw it before. Wanna help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. Ninth Warden, hero of the Intergalactic Peace Wars, and friend to lonely children everywhere. Okay, Steph. Let's see what you're into. I'm detecting an indie pattern. Okay. A seriously obscure indie pattern. Color me impressed. Josh? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Cat. Wait. Is that the hold list? <laughs> I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away. If we can find it. Give me a hand. Alright, we... Valkyrie. That's one badass cat name. Yeah, definitely acts like a Valkyrie. Fierce cat. Emergency guitar. In case of sweet jam sesh, break glass. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. <laughs> uh, let's see. I love that this town has their own radio station. Huh. Colorado digs its alt rock, I see. So there wasn't anything there. Gabe's record is in here, but which one is it? This place has just the right amount of dorkiness. How do you like finding that cat toy? Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? Been hearing a lot of guitars, but then there's the aca acapella. I'm guessing he's gotten pretty deep into the acoustic EDM scene. Isn't that an oxymoron? Isn't all great music? Well, deep. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Maybe that drawer? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. Hmm, nothing. Maybe in the junk box. The winner. Good guess. <laughs> B 
be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Tiny blue bot. And there's Kings of Leon. Okay. Should have known. Let's look at the cellular phone here. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here. Seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? <laughs> he acted cool, but he was really a big dork. Like, one time he was pretending to stage dive and fell off the bed, sprained an ankle, it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you being here is a game changer in the Gabe embarrassing department. All right, you're looking at 20 even. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I put into this? You just... No, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> it's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had... I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? You have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh. No bird calls, though. I'll be there. One sec. That ranger picked up on it. <laughs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Are you okay? Sorry. I was just a little thrown for a moment. Thanks. You got it. Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? You know, talking about bird calls <laughs> and bird call related media. This guy really loves his birds. Guilty. You know, we're trying to keep her in Haven, right? Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. <laughs> and this dude hands me the best beers? By the way, Mac was in here earlier, and, uh... Funny how she already automatically has her phone number.
He really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Tag along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. I should check in. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Had a boy. No, we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kinda wanna hang out at home. Is that okay? Do you, man. <laughs> but I'm gonna check that homework later tonight, though. You better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. Your dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> We trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Char. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? Well, here's the thing. They are setting off explosives in the mines. Because we just seen that from looking at the phone. So... Gonna, I, you don't want to see the kid get hurt. So, gonna have to tell Gabe. Uh, I should probably tell you something. Shoot. Earlier when Ethan and I were talking, he mentioned exploring some old mine. Oh, man. He seemed like he knew what he was doing, but I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> this fucking kid. I'm gonna tell Charlotte. Just give me a sec. Ooh, Ethan's in trouble. Really? We'll see. I appreciate you telling me. You, you did the right thing. What do you say we get you settled in? If you didn't check your phone, you wouldn't have known that. You don't want the kids to be trapped so, in a mine. This is what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Sounds like it. Look who it is. Jed! Hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Buddy hell, will you listen to this horse shit? His boss, he means. You own the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit, you know that? <laughs> he just about wet himself waiting for you to get here. <laughs> oh, did he manage to hold it in this time? Good for you, Gabe. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? Not in detail? I'll fill you in later. Like, you do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. <laughs> it's charming. Oh, before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. 
So I've heard. Yeah. So just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. Don't mind, Jed. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. Even though the kid, the kid will hate us, will hate me for making the choice. It's better for that because the kid could get hurt. God, I'm just, just a kid. This is all yours? Don't sound so surprised. When you said that you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Seriously, this is great. And the best part is, it's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. Gabe, I love it. Good. I mean it. I don't know what to say. You can say thank you. Or maybe you're the best. Or I'm definitely naming my first and third born children Gabriel or Gabriela. <laughs> sure thing. Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? It's just, you look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Yeah? Do I look how you expect it? You haven't really changed. Really? You still look 15. Like, shut up. <laughs> I mean, obviously you're like a man, dude. But you still have the same facial expressions and stuff. You're still you. Thanks. Which is good, because if you weren't still you, I'd have to give your gift to someone else. Wait, what? Surprise. Wait, is this? This is the album I requested. I know, I'm good. I was gonna get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. See, no music. Of course. Yeah, I can't get over this. This isn't the actual... Like old times. The actual music. I know Kings of Leon. Oh, no. Stop that. I can't. It's too late. <laughs> Let's just tear him on to hell. <laughs> oh, yeah, go get him, bro. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look. 
Lifetime of practice. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> there was a bit of a shudder there. Your turn. Uh, let, let's show them how it's done. Fine. Keep in mind, this is full grown. This is full grown adults acting like kids, like what kids would do. You haven't lost a beat. <laughs> oh, now it's all ended. Too much loud noise. Just give me a sec. Yeah! Hey, Mac. Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend! Dude, I promise, you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass right now! No. No, 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 not here! It's not my place, man. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you! Dude, you got wrecked by the guy's little sister. Your sister's fucking psycho! You could both go fuck yourselves! That guy's definitely I'm got so it. sorry! Don't worry about it! That guy's definitely got problems. is too strong. Sometimes it's just, it's just hard to control. I'm okay. No, she's not.
I guess I might as well unpack. Let's look around first. What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview and Mac thought they were sleeping together. This is fucking stupid. Gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Try programming able to release location. Anita and Eduardo. <laughs> they were one of the good ones. Wow. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? A high school dropout? A guy who went to fucking juvie? Wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my god, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so personal. Okay, there's nothing about comic. Huh. I've really changed the art style since I read these. Um, video game. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? Gabe brushing up on comics and art? Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. Just making sure. Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. At least I held it together in front of him and Steph. Yeah, but here's the thing. Ryan picked up on it. Straight from your local That's the thing. Store. That's a key point. Because Ryan picked up cool on it. One last thing to look at. I'm really happy for you, Gabe. Okay. No way. Gabe has this photo too? Look at our parents. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. I said something about opening that. Oh God, the shoe shoe's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that.
Ethan's really talented. Makes sense that his mom's an artist. Tunnel of the monster to the monster stronghold of the Demonheim collapsed. I'll find another way in. The uniform of the city guard long dead from the looks of it. Blood. The trail seems to end here unless... Hollow. Oh. Aha! He must have crawled through here. The corpse of a cloud serpent. It must have crashed through the ceiling. I could find the secret entrance. Perhaps I can reach higher ground or I could find the secret... Yeah, I, could, I probably read that wrong, sorry. Your flying days are over, Cloud Serpent, but you may still be of use to me. That must be the stronghold gate, the uh, glow behind the peak. We've seen things, haven't we, Shu Shu? Ethan's really talented. All right, unpack all the letters. Well, at least we know that uh, Alex here can fight. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. At least she cared. More than I can say for most. I really wish those meds had worked. Chelsea. The rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Alright. There's a lot to unpack here. That's that photo. Crazy how much we've changed. It's really nice that Gabe and I both held on to this photo. Alright, I'm gonna end it here. And... I think this will be a good, good first episode, you know, here and still in chapter one. But, uh, we've been recording for an hour. So, without further ado, I really do like this game. We do know that Alice can fight. Whether she's charged up by her empathy power or not but we are finding out a little bit more of alex and her power her history and sooner we'll uh, find out more so thank you all for watching and i will see you guys next time and always remember to eat sleep not just smash and repeat and i will see you guys in the next episode peace